Hello and welcome to another session here and in this episode we will uh, take a look at a vintage Omega Seamaster um, this one um, I bought from a friend and he has a defective strap this is the easy fix to fix the strap so um, yeah to fix the strap, no problem. I got several of those metal things. Um, this is the back case of this. You can see the my Sea Monster logo there. It's not original crown. There's some cracks in the glass. Probably uh, I will just order a new glass, or maybe I got some in the workshop. I don't know. Uh, this one seems to. Uh, almost keep the time. Uh, some delay, but this one works, so it's not completely defect. Uh, but from the the previous owner said it has been locked in for many many years, uh, and probably this hasn't received any service for many many years. So uh, for that reason, I think it's time uh, to give it a proper service. And this will be one of of my crown jewels in my collection. Um, it's a really nice Omega Sea Monster. I don't have this type, uh, so it, this will be really nice. As you know, I recently repaired uh, another Omega uh, Sea Monster Devil, which is here. You can see it's really nice. And a nice strap, of course, also. This is really nice and rare strap. But uh, now to this one. We'll remove this strap first. I think I will buy a black strap for this. Mm. So let's take a look on this one. It's a snap off on this. I think. Yeah, let's take a look here. Opening. Yeah, there you go. Here we have a wonderful Omega watch. Wow. So 284 seems to be working fine, but a lot of dirt you can see here. Mm-hmm. A lot of dirt, so it's a risk of opening this one like this. Let's see what is that. So here we can see a lot of dirt. Uh, at where I am at the moment, I don't have pegwood, <laughs> uh, but I will take care of this uh, as soon as I come home to the workshop. This is just a little look. Um, it looks pretty sharp, this one. I like it very much. So hopefully I can fix this one. So we will um, release the stem, the first one. Yes. There you go. And You need a little bit more. It's 
it's really dirty this one so probably this one is super duper it's too much probably dirt Super stuck. Never had that one before, but it's uh, the setting here. The stem should go out, but it does not go out. So that might be a little bit. Problematic. This one was very stubborn, but eventually. So look at this, uh, all of this dirt. Maybe this has never had any service. However, the the watch keeps uh, the time is really good, uh, but I can't leave it like this. It would be different if it would be more clean, but this is this is crazy. So, um, also we take a look on the other screws also, and uh, so we can re release the movement. This is the one that holds this movement. Oh yeah, there you can see this one interesting the same with this one I use my red just to release this one Some dirt just came along and stopped this one. When you secure this one, make sure that. Um, uh, yeah. Of course, I would like to enter this one now also so I can change the time that would have been uh, some yeah like that then carefully because the balance is there and when you close it make sure it's in the middle there because if you damage that one you will fail wow it's just a little bit dirt on this one, but there is patina, a little bit also. <sighs> nice. Look at this, we will now place this one. This is a new one, of course. Oh yeah, that's good. This is very critical moment. Mm. Be super careful with this. 
each time I do it. Do this, I'm like on alert because if you fail this or if you bend them, it's not good. I will use these ones manually to remove the seconds first, and it's good if you don't shake. But I sometimes I shake. But let's see. Depends on, depends on. It's not so good to shake because yeah, then you can knock it. Then it's good if you just carefully. But do it and don't hesitate. Ah <sighs> well. There you go. It's released. Use this one. You should prefer to use one of these because you don't want to damage the, the hands. They are fragile. Very, very fragile. Let's see if I can. Continue doing this then. I think it is all. Yep. Okay, <laughs> carefully. You can take it from the edge here. Like that. Let's check on the dial. No scratches, anything from the work. Perfect. I have done damage on dials. That is my confession today. I've done that. It's not something that has to be. You have to be super careful always. I think I have said that many times, sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look to remove the dial. This one has screws. Which is that sadly my all of my screwdrivers, many of them, needs a replace. But I got some extra here around. Corner. Don't regret buying that. So let's take a look then. I need to change gloves also. These are dirty. Here you can release the dial. Be careful because this is like this is how they vanish. That one was um, um, try with the other one again. Let's see if we have. I'll probably use Rolico to remove it. So let's see if it works. Yeah. When it's stuck, do like that. I 
And let's move on to the other side. I think I managed with this one. And same here. to release this now just careful and you can see that it actually is off and here we can see this a bit with the dial washer and how we will so I have placed this in a very special place for now I think this is great here I will keep it For now so let's release the power of this one maybe just make sure that one was pretty stuck there Sometimes you need to just move this one also. Okay, I will turn it over now. Double check a little bit here. it should be okay
there's a little clip in there also on this. released Let's see if this one is stuck somehow here oh yeah I didn't see that one but there's a super small so it's uh, important not to drop it doesn't ah, okay there you go good good uh, let's see Pallet fork bridge and pallet fork. annoying and that happens actually if Omega Phi Cal 565 also has this setup with the pallet fork doesn't work because it was working before okay <laughs> the hell was that it's 
release the train bridge. Not sure about this uh, going wheel which we we have here, but um, we will soon find find find, find out. on the camera Uno, dos. possible to remove this Look, yeah, because it's actually we should be able to take it out from one direction. Because there is, as far as I can see, but. Yeah, from this, like this, carefully. Oh, sorry, I just lifted over. You can see. Here you go. The third and fourth wheel. The third wheel is there. The, let's see if I can show you. This is the third wheel, going wheel, I think, and fourth wheel and escape wheel. it from this direction now um, we'll leave that there and then take these two oh, shit. and then same thing with this No damage has been made there whatsoever by doing that. Of course, maybe the right way would be to take the barrel bridge first. Mm. Let's see. So let's begin by removing this uh, ratchet wheel, the crown wheel. This should be Yep. Look at that. Usual. came from the watch but I 
I want to use my wood for this because these are so easily scratch. For that reason, I, I have them right. Use that one more to prevent from scratches. Um, okay, this is probably um, the ratchet wheel. So, not clockwise, but anti clockwise. Yes. Concentration, 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 concentration. Just move it up a little bit. Sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn and if you push more there then this whole kabam will so it's a little technique right but there you go one There you go. Let's hope there is uh, nothing sensitive which I lost. The click spring is there. It can get away though. I have to be very careful with that. Almost like I want to. This can fly away and then we need to order a new one. This is a panic thing for me. <laughs> yep. Ah, not so easy grabbing that one. Let's try, let's try. Ah, much, 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 much better. Let's see. 
move the cannon pin in now. Tequilas. to set up them nice 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 uh, we will have a special made this one for this managed to remove it uh, so better safe than sorry applies on everything in it will gone Setting wheel gone. This is magnetic. Let's see if I can remove this because it was a little bit stuck. Oh, if I couldn't remove this, that makes no sense. See if I can remove it with uh, <laughs> Yep, here you go. Yoke is now away. Gone with the wind. Now we see as this left, so that's the part. This is it. Great, thank you so much for watching and I hope the clean of this one will go fine. Thank you so much for watching and take care.